Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather forecast for Europe then. Still, the stormy weather in the Mediterranean is the dominant talking point at the moment. A large area of high pressure further north is keeping things largely fine and quiet, but you can see the shower cloud developing. And so it's been affecting the Balearics, Corsica, Sardinia, northwest Italy as well, along with some of the Alps and Southern Italy seeing some heavy rain. Now to the north of that, it's a quiet story with that area of high pressure dominating here. It looks likely that Turkey, along with some of the Greek Isles, will be fine and quiet. Some rain into mainland Greece, southern Italy, as I say, across towards Corsica, Sardinia and the Balkans once again. Now, Spain and Portugal look largely fine and dry. And then we see that area of cloud just affecting France, the British Isles, the Low Countries, Germany. Frontal system starting to push into Norway. We're going to see some significant snow to Lapland as well over the next couple of days. Not that much in the way of change either into Tuesday. The quieter weather up to the north and east, the stormy weather sitting in the Mediterranean. And if we take a look at the city forecast for the next five days, that cloud cover is going to be a little bit of a nuisance across London and Paris. More sunshine for Madrid and Rome. Still quite a lot of cloud for Germany, but largely dry as well. We run the risk of a few snow showers arriving in Moscow towards the end of the week. Hello there. Recent days has seen some awful stormy weather across the Mediterranean. It's having an impact on the North African coastline, affecting Algeria, Tunisia and uh, Libya. We could see some intense rainfall, as much as 30 to 60 millimetres uh, still further to come. Some strong winds and rather cool as well for the time of year. We've also got some sharp showers through the Gulf of Guinea at the moment. Not too many through the interior, but there still will be some. And then further south of that is largely fine and quiet story, but a weak weather front is going to brush towards South Africa and produce some showers perhaps through the middle part of the week. And you can see that on the city forecast on Wednesday. Elsewhere, a good deal of fine dry weather to be found. At Nairobi, though, rather cloudy at times. It does look likely that the stormy weather conditions in the Mediterranean not really having too much of an impact across Casablanca. Fine, settled, sunny and pretty warm to go with it as well. The Middle East is largely quiet as well. We have seen some recent showers across Saudi, but most of the fair weather cloud is drifting a little bit further east, affecting Iraq, Kuwait and down into Iran. That means elsewhere it's all about dry, settled weather, just a light breeze as well over the next few days. And we'll likely see those temperatures peaking high 20s, low 30s. Little in the way of change as we move through the week ahead. Still the risk of some isolated showers into Kuwait from that cloud. Take care. Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather forecast for South Asia. Plenty of heavy rain expected over the next few days. This circulation of cloud here is likely to track its way westwards through the Bay of Bengal and affect perhaps Andhra Pradesh and parts of Tamil Nadu. Now that's already been suffering from very heavy rain just recently. Not looking too bad on Monday. The worst of the heavy rainfall likely across Karnataka and down through the Kerala coastline as well. North of that, it is a quieter story. Yes, we've got some showers across northeastern states, but up into northwest India, along with Pakistan, it's fine and warm. Central Asia is going to head through quite a cold snap over the next few days. Minus two with some snow showers likely across Kazakhstan, but going to get colder still. That cold air gradually sinks south, but not looking too bad close to the Caspian Sea. We'll see some sunshine coming through here. But let's get back to that heavy rain. As I say, heading down through Karnataka, down across that Kerala area. Yes, there will be further rain through Tamil Nadu. Not looking too bad on Monday through Andhra Pradesh, stretching up into the northeast towards Bangladesh. There'll be a few scattered showers as well. This is our city forecast for the next five days. Mumbai will stay dry and pretty warm with it. By contrast, Colombo keeps those intense thundery downpours coming. And the cold air continues to dominate with uh, Kazakhstan seeing minus eight on Thursday. Hello there. If we start off by looking at a satellite picture for North America, most of the weather action at the moment is up into the north. Got an Alberta clipper that's running across uh, the Great Lakes as we speak. That will ease away. But this massive cloud here, it's a plume of rain coming in off the Pacific Northwest. Strong winds associated with it. It's also bringing some significant snow that will gradually move towards the northern Rockies. To the south of that, it's all about the warmth just recently. Above average temperatures in parts of Texas, Colorado 
and also into Los Angeles. But even here, we will start to see those temperatures falling away, the Santa Ana winds of recent just easing. So yes, there will be some significant snow, perhaps as much as a half a meter to a meter of snow before this system clears through. A lot of heavy rain as well. Really through Oregon down into California, it looks largely fine and dry, the same too for Nevada. But as you can see, the rain will start to ease away from Tuesday and the temperatures will fall away as well in Los Angeles going from 27 to 21. Improving story on Monday, a few scattered showers just remaining across the eastern half of Canada. Largely fine with a good deal of sunshine coming through, a little bit of fair weather cloud, but then there will be blue sky and sunshine from Tennessee, Georgia, all the way down into Florida. And that's reflected in the city forecast over the next few days, the threat of snow showers easing in Montreal. Hello there. Heavy rain is moving out of northern Argentina. It's pushing its way through Uruguay and Paraguay in particular um, through the course of the day. You can see it quite clearly on the satellite picture. It's drifting its way steadily northwards. It will merge with these showers as well that we've got going in central and eastern areas of Brazil. So by Monday, the rain will be a little bit further north and we'll have a clearance. Still some cloud into Paraguay, but certainly better into northern Argentina. Plenty of sharp showers then through Colombia, down into northern Peru, across into Brazil as well. Better for Rio de Janeiro, fine with some sunshine coming through. Better into Uruguay and Argentina as well. Dry and relatively warm temperatures into the mid-20s. Further south of that, we've got a little bit of fair weather cloud, but even here it's relatively quiet through the southern tip of Chile. Rain set to return for Rio de Janeiro until Friday, so good deal of sunshine ahead of it. A few isolated showers threatening into Buenos Aires. Into Mexico, it's a fine settled picture at the moment. We've got some showers, particularly through the Yucatan Peninsula, down into Honduras in particular. It's been like that for the last couple of days. Slightly fewer showers down through Costa Rica and Panama and fewer showers into the Caribbean as well. So we still run the risk of some showers cropping up into Havana as we go through the week. Kingston, Jamaica, fine and settled. Fewer showers, certainly, for San Jose. Hello there. Recently, we've seen some very heavy rain across parts of southern Thailand. Now, it's the wet season there, but even by their standards, it has been pretty significant. But over the next few days, although the satellite picture is obviously picking up the shower cloud, the intensity of that rainfall looks likely to ease. We've got a large area of high pressure further north of that, giving a good deal of quiet weather across Japan, Korean Peninsula and the bulk of China. And it looks likely that that story is set to stay as well over the next few days. Here's the sharper showers through Vietnam into Thailand. We're also seeing some pretty intense showers across parts of Malaysia and Indonesia. They're going to continue over the next few days too. It's the rainy season, obviously. The city forecasts though show that drier weather I was talking about into Beijing and even the showers in Bangkok easing in intensity and frequency. Now into Australia, we have got some warmth building once again in Western Australia and wildfire alerts here, but we've had some cool weather and it's still there across parts of Victoria and parts of southern New South Wales and Tasmania as well. Recent heavy rain and gale force gusts of wind slowly starting to ease into New Zealand, but still plenty of showers around on Tuesday. It's a little bit of a roller coaster in terms of the feel of the weather as well. Melbourne will see some warmth returning and then a little bit cooler into the weekend.